My beloved child, I want you to know that no matter who you are, where you are in life, how old you are, or where you live, the blessings I've promised are for you. They're yours to take hold of and apply to every part of your life. If you look at your children and worry that they don't seem blessed or favored by me, don't lose heart. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb. Anything you ask in my name I will do. You'll be blessed in your baskets and bowls, blessed when you come in and go out all the days of your life. This isn't a short-term deal. It's a permanent state that you enter into and live in. I myself will make sure that any enemies who come against you will be defeated. They might attack from one direction, but they'll scatter before you in seven directions. It doesn't matter who rejects you or denies you, because I'll just raise up someone else to show you favor and acceptance. What really counts is that I will cause your enemies to be defeated in front of you. Now when people oppose you, fight against you, reject you, or say bad things about you, you don't need to defend yourself. I will take care of that for you. I will command my blessings on you, your storehouses, and everything you put your hand to. I will bless you in the land I've given you. I will make you my holy people, set apart for myself just like I promised you. But you've got to do your part too. Keep my commandments and walk in my ways. Then everyone on earth will see that you're called by my name, and they'll be in awe of you. I'm going to give you prosperity. I'll open up the windows of heaven and pour out my bounty, sending rain on your land right when you need it and blessing everything you do. You'll be the one lending money to many, not borrowing from them. This is what I want for you. It's the definition of being blessed by me. It's not just words, it's a reality that will unfold in your life in amazing ways, growing bigger and bigger over time. It starts as a tiny seed of blessing in one area, but it keeps growing, producing more and more fruit, and bringing me more and more glory. My blessing on your life will make you the head, not the tail. You'll always be on top, never on the bottom, as long as you carefully obey my commands. If you're hearing this, know that this is my desire for you, because it gives me the most glory to make you successful, to bless you, and to put an unbreakable shield of favor around you. People might try to get through that shield wondering what your secret is, but it's my favor and my anointing that makes you different. As you grow in wisdom and maturity, you'll gain favor with me and with people. As my favored and anointed child, you can't lose. You'll always get what you've prayed for, or something just as good or better. That's how it works when you're favored by me. So I'm saying it now, this time in your life is called favored by God. And you won't leave this place. I'm asking angels to be sent into your life right now, to make sure that everything you need for what I've called you to do shows up right on time, and that everything you're praying for, or something even better, happens in your life. Live in the fullness of this truth, my child. Let your life show the world how good and faithful I am, how much I love to bless my children beyond what they can imagine. May my favor rest on you powerfully, and may my name be glorified through everything I do in you and through you. My dear child, from the moment you entered this world, I have cherished you deeply. Though the world may not have always treated you kindly or fairly, my love for you has never wavered. When others turned away, I stood by your side ready to guide you forward. As you grew and faced challenges, I was there to lift you up and give you strength. I cleansed you of the pain and hurt you experienced, anointing you with my healing touch. I made a sacred promise to always be your protector and provider, to shield you from harm and grant you abundant blessings. It brings me great joy to see you flourish and thrive. I desire for you to have the very best that life has to offer, not just spiritually, but in every aspect of your existence. I want to adorn you with prosperity, success, and fulfillment beyond your wildest dreams. 
Imagine yourself clothed in the finest garments, with elegance and grace that catches the eye of all who see you. Picture your life overflowing with abundance, nourishing food, comfortable shelter, and all the resources you need to pursue your passions and purpose. Visualize yourself surrounded by loving relationships, supportive communities, and opportunities for growth and impact. This is the life I have in store for you, my child. A life of beauty, purpose, and blessing. A life where you radiate with the confidence and assurance of knowing that you are deeply loved and highly favored by your Heavenly Father. But this favor is not just for your own benefit. As you receive my blessings and walk in the fullness of the destiny I have for you, you become a light to the world around you. Your life serves as a testament to my goodness and faithfulness, inspiring others to seek me and experience the transformative power of my love. I know that the journey of life is not always easy. There will be times when you face obstacles, setbacks and challenges that threaten to dim your light. But even in the midst of these trials, remember that I am always with you. I will never leave you or forsake you, and I will give you the strength and wisdom you need to overcome every obstacle in your path. Trust in my love for you, my child. Lean into my presence and allow me to guide your every step. As you align your life with my will and purpose, you will experience the fullness of my favor and blessing in ways that exceed your expectations. I have called you to be a royal priesthood, a holy nation set apart for my glory. You are not meant to live a life of mediocrity or struggle, but one of abundance, purpose, and impact. Embrace your identity as my beloved child and step into the destiny I have prepared for you. As you go forth in this world, carry my love and light with you wherever you go. Use the gifts and resources I have given you to make a positive difference in the lives of others and to advance my kingdom here on earth. Remember that no matter what challenges or obstacles you may face, my favor and blessing are upon you. I will open doors of opportunity that no one can shut, and I will make a way where there seems to be no way. Trust in my goodness and faithfulness and watch as I work all things together for your good and for my glory. My child, you are precious and valuable to me beyond measure. I delight in you and rejoice over you with singing. You are the object of my affection and the recipient of my favor. Walk in the confidence and assurance of knowing that you are loved, cherished, and highly favored by your Heavenly Father. May my blessings and favor surround you like a shield, protecting you from harm and guiding you into the abundant life I have prepared for you. May my love fill your heart to overflowing, giving you the strength and courage to face every challenge with unwavering faith and purpose. My beloved child, I long for you to experience the fullness of my blessings in every area of your life. My heart's desire is for you to enjoy the very best, the most nourishing food, the most comfortable home, and a life overflowing with abundance. Why do I want this for you? Because when you thrive, it brings glory to my name. Your blessed life points back to me, your heavenly Father. It's a testament to what only I can do for you, not something you can achieve on your own. Trying to attain these blessings through manipulation will only lead you astray. The things you gain will become false idols, distracting you from me. But when you align your life with my ways, everything falls into proper order. The season of your life is marked by my special favor upon you. As you grow in wisdom, maturity, and closeness with me, my favor will naturally flow to you, spilling over to influence the people around you as well. I yearn to adorn you with my grace and shower you with both spiritual and tangible blessings. I want to elevate you so that your life shines brightly for all to see, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. This is my will for you, especially as you tune your heart to my voice. Know that you have entered a season of unprecedented divine favor. This truth may surprise you as it's not often taught. 
favor is not automatically given to every believer at salvation. Rather, it's bestowed upon those who diligently seek wisdom and maturity in me. As you prioritize this growth, aligning your finances, relationships, and personal life with my word, favor will be your reward. Your salvation is secure in me, but experiencing the fullness of my favor depends on your pursuit of wisdom. If you find yourself lacking favor, simply draw near to me and ask for wisdom in every area of life. I give generously to all who ask as you listen to this message. I am equipping you with everything needed to walk in enduring favor. This favor will span years of your life, not just a fleeting moment. I have entrusted you with this message because I have a significant assignment for you. A role to play in my grand plan of redemption. My favor will surround you like a shield, protecting you from the enemy's attacks. As your good shepherd, it is my joy to guide you, illuminating your path and leading you to green pastures. Even now, I am dispatching angels to war on your behalf, thwarting every scheme of the enemy meant to derail you. Though the enemy may seek to lead you astray, my angelic hosts will form a hedge of protection around you hiding you from his sight. He will search for you, but will not be able to penetrate the hedge I have placed around you, just as I did for my servant, Job. Rest assured, I will never leave you or forsake you. My hand of favor is outstretched toward you, and I delight in showering you with blessings. All glory, honor, and praise belong to me, for I am the source of every good thing in your life. As you step into this new era of favor, I encourage you to share your testimonies with others. Your stories of my goodness will inspire and strengthen those around you, and as you faithfully support the work of spreading the gospel, you are storing up treasures in heaven. Your generosity does not go unnoticed. It is credited to your account. Remember, I am not limited by your current circumstances. I can do far more than you could ever ask or imagine. So trust in my goodness, even when you don't understand my ways. I am committed to meeting every one of your needs according to my glorious riches. As you sow seeds of faith and obedience, you will reap a bountiful harvest in due season. The law of multiplication is at work in your life, ensuring that your faithfulness will yield exponential blessings. Above all, know that I love you deeply and am always interceding on your behalf. You are never alone, for I am with you always. Hold fast to my promises, for they are your anchor in every storm. I am working all things together for your good and for my glory. Walk in the confidence that comes from knowing you are highly favored, deeply loved, and destined for greatness in me. I have called you by name, and you are mine. Embrace this new season with expectancy, knowing that I am faithful to complete the good work I have begun in you. My dear child, I want you to know that I am here with you, always. I see your struggles, your doubts, and your fears, and I long to guide you into the fullness of the life I have planned for you. As your Heavenly Father, my deepest desire is for you to walk in obedience to my will for it is there that you will find true peace, joy, and purpose. I know that discerning my will can be challenging at times. The distractions of the world, the desires of your own heart, and the deceptions of the enemy can all make it difficult to hear my voice and follow my leading. But I want you to remember that I am the Good Shepherd, and I will never lead you astray. The key to walking in my will is simple, my child. Surrender. Surrender your heart, your plans, and your very life to me, trusting that I know what is best for you. When you let go of your own agenda and allow me to guide your steps, you open yourself up to the incredible plans I have for you. I know it can be scary to relinquish control, to step out in faith into the unknown. The enemy will try to convince you that following my will means giving up your freedom your dreams, and your happiness. But nothing could be further from the truth. 
In fact, it is only in walking in obedience to me that you will discover what real freedom, fulfillment, and joy look like. You see, my will for you is not a set of burdensome rules or restrictions. It is an invitation to experience the very best that life has to offer. When you trust me and follow my leading, you tap into the power and resources of heaven itself. You gain access to the wisdom, strength, and guidance you need to navigate any challenge that comes your way. But I won't force this path upon you, my precious one. The choice to surrender, to follow, and to obey is yours alone. I stand at the door of your heart and knock, waiting for you to let me in. And when you do, when you say yes to my will and my ways, you will experience the full measure of my love, grace, and power in your life. I know the journey will not always be easy. There will be times when my will seems to conflict with your own desires, when the path ahead looks dark and uncertain. In those moments, it can be tempting to take matters into your own hands, to lean on your own understanding rather than trusting in me. But I want to remind you that I am with you always, even to the end of the age. When you feel lost or confused, when you don't know which way to turn, simply cry out to me. Ask me to show you my will, to guide your steps, and to give you the strength you need to obey. I will never leave you or forsake you, and I will always lead you in the path of life and peace. As you learn to walk in my will, you will begin to see your life transformed from the inside out. You will experience a new sense of purpose and direction, a deeper intimacy with me, and a greater capacity to love and serve others. Your life will bear fruit that lasts as you become a conduit of my love and grace to a hurting world. But this transformation doesn't happen overnight, my child. It is a daily choice to pick up your cross and to follow me. It requires a willingness to lay down your own plans and agendas, to trust me even when you can't see the way forward. It means being willing to obey even when it's hard, knowing that I am always working things out for your good and my glory. And yet the rewards of this surrendered life are beyond measure. As you walk in obedience to my will, you will experience the fullness of my presence, the depth of my love and the power of my spirit at work within you. You will have the assurance that your life matters, that you are making a difference in the world, and that your eternal destiny is secure in me. So don't be afraid, my precious child. Don't hesitate to give me your whole heart, your whole life. Trust that I have a perfect plan for you, a plan to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you hope and a future. Lean into my love, listen for my voice, and follow where I lead. I am with you always, guiding you, strengthening you, and cheering you on. And as you walk in obedience to my will, you will discover the abundant life I have always intended for you, a life of purpose, joy, and unshakable hope Remember, my child, I love you with an everlasting love. My will for you is good, pleasing, and perfect. Surrender to me, trust in me, and watch as I work mightily in and through you for my glory and your good. As you walk in obedience to my will, my child, there is one aspect of the abundant life I have for you that I don't want you to overlook. The joy and significance of sowing seeds and investing in others. You see, I have blessed you with unique gifts, talents, and resources, not just for your own benefit, but for the benefit of those around you. When you use what I have given you to serve others, to meet their needs and to point them toward me, you are participating in the very work of my kingdom. It may not always be easy or comfortable to give of yourself in this way. The world will tell you to look out for your own interests, to hoard your blessings, and to focus on your own success. But I want you to remember that my economy operates differently. In my kingdom, it is through giving that we receive, and through sacrificing that we find true fulfillment. 
When you sow seeds of love, kindness, and generosity in the lives of others, you are planting a powerful crop that will yield a harvest far beyond what you can imagine. You may not always see the immediate results of your investment, but know that I am at work behind the scenes, causing those seeds to take root and grow in ways that will bear fruit for eternity. Perhaps you feel like you don't have much to give, like your efforts are small or insignificant in the grand scheme of things. But I want to remind you that even the smallest act of kindness, the briefest word of encouragement, or the simplest gesture of love can have a profound impact on someone's life. Never underestimate the power of the seeds you sow, for they are infused with my love and my spirit. As you step out in faith and begin to invest in others, you will find that your own life is enriched in the process. You will experience the joy of being a conduit of my love, the satisfaction of knowing that you are making a difference, and the blessings that come from living a life of generosity and service. And know this, my child, I see every seed you sow, every act of kindness you perform, every sacrifice you make for the sake of others. Even when no one else notices or appreciates what you have done, I am there, smiling down on you with pride and delight. Your labor in my name is never in vain, and I will reward you in ways that far surpass anything this world can offer. So don't grow weary in doing good, my precious one. Don't let the distractions or discouragements of this life keep you from investing in the lives of those around you. Keep sowing seeds of love, even when the ground seems hard and the progress seems slow. Trust that I am at work, causing those seeds to take root and bear fruit in due season. And as you do, you will experience the fullness of the abundant life I have for you. A life not just of receiving blessings, but of being a blessing to others. A life not just of finding fulfillment, but of bringing glory to my name. A life not just of temporary pleasures, but of eternal significance. So go forth, my child, and sow abundantly. Invest generously in the lives of those I bring across your path. Give freely of the gifts and resources I have entrusted to you, knowing that I will supply all your needs according to my riches and glory. And watch as I multiply your efforts, bringing forth a harvest of righteousness and joy that will last for all eternity. Remember, my precious one, you are not just called to walk in my will for your own sake, but for the sake of the world around you. I love you, my child, and I am with you always. Keep sowing, keep investing, and keep trusting in my perfect plan. The harvest is coming, and it will be more abundant than you can possibly imagine. Amen.